Hello, my name is uh, Song Gol Hwang. Uh, I head up the industrial design department at Hongyi University. First of all, um, congratulations to our students uh, who have done a lot of work throughout the year. Um, in the past, we've done a lot of offline uh, exhibitions, um, but this year, um, with the constraints, we, we do have to do online presentation and, and opening. Um, I think it's a bit of crisis, but also an opportunity to really uh, spread our work even further and then broader than before. So, uh, great work for the year and looking forward to great presentation and communication of our content uh, in November. So, um, as an industrial designer, uh, I think you do need to understand who your target is. And once you know who your target is, you, you really have to think about how to make them happy, how to satisfy them. Um, it, it's not as complex as it sounds. I mean, I don't think we need to get too scientific about uh, design approach. Um, I think simply put, um, we need to really be happy as designers and, and then um, that's going to produce a lot of happy designs. And once those happy designs reach consumers, uh, consumers will be happy as well. So I think it's simple as that. Our department at Hawaii University, um, I, I think fundamentally cares a lot about being hands-on. So um, our curriculum and our history has been geared towards being very practical and industry oriented and also leading the industry as well. So um, the first thing is to be ha very hands-on uh, to actually not only think about design but do design as well. Secondly, our department cares a lot about behavior. Um, we cannot teach all the students about everything uh, that's required in the industry or in their career path, but um, we do care a lot about uh, holding the right behavior so they can do teamwork, uh, they can be good listeners, so um, I think the whole curriculum and also um, each classes focus a lot on doing teamwork and also being able to communicate and collaborate with each other. This year we have the theme of design without um, and also we're leaving some room for interpretations as well. Uh, the intent behind the theme was that uh, with COVID-19, situations are changing rapidly. Uh, one thing that we did want to emphasize was that things may not be the same again. We, we, may, not be, we may not be able to revert back to uh, where we were, who we were before. So um, the theme really emphasizes the fact that we need to face the reality and also deal with the changes. Um, so there, there will be some things that we'll be living with, but also living without as well. So the theme really emphasizes that we are at a turning point and we need to accept that and then make that into not a crisis, but an opportunity. Going back to the old days when I used to participate in my student show as a student at Hagi University, um, we, we, we had our graduate student show, but we also had interim student shows as well. So I've gone through a few student shows uh, when I was at Hong University. Um, my third year uh, work was around um, doing a full scale uh, scooter. Uh, so we actually designed it, we did the clay modeling, and then we casted it, and then we made 3D uh, full scale mock-up of the, the scooter as a team. So that was a really interesting experience because not only about the design research, but also the process of getting there that you have to work with many different designers. And also um, being able to create full scale mock-up was uh, you know, really out of box experience at that time. Um, as a, when I was in my fourth year, um, I did change my major from transportation design, which now we call mobility design, uh, to uh, spatial design and product design. So I actually did two uh, uh, graduate projects. So 
With the spatial design, we did a theme park, uh, which was pretty big scale. Um, we did the physical mock-up and 3D animation uh, uh, of, the, of the concept. And then in terms of the product design, we actually did a what we called home doctor. So it was a networked uh, digital home scanning system and PDAs, uh, devices, that are connected to central server. So at that time, which was about you know, quite a few years ago, was pretty novel uh, concept. I think, you know, I mean, you're like one year from graduating uh, school and, and, and you'll be on your own, which is kind of scary. Um, I guess some advices I have uh, for the students who are ready to enter into uh, the industry and, and their, you know, career path. Um, I really want them to design their own career path. I mean, you may be asking your parents, your friends, other uh, acquaintances about how, they, how you should live your career path. But I think fundamentally, you really need to put your hand on your heart and, and think, what do I want to do? And, and really design your own career path, um, not only in terms of a few years out, but really far out. So I, I think in summary, the key phrase is that you need to design your own horizon path, which means in the long run, what will you do? And then from that, really work backwards on, on what you need to do, uh, you know, 10 years from now, five years from now, and then a few years from now. Um, so it's best to think really far out first and then really work backwards in terms of specifying and, and realizing your, your long-term uh, career plans.